All right, here we are. Whoops, bump the camera. Back at it again. Yes, I did choose a sparkling water over coffee today. <laughs> Somebody come get her. She acting like she 88. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are again <laughs> with a series I'm now calling, Hey, let's watch some gay shit. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I made a video reacting to some Cut content. Cut is a YouTube channel with a plethora of fascinating video subjects. Last time, I went to Cut because I wanted to react to their series called The Button. But then I got distracted by guessing the sexualities of strangers <laughs> and putting my gaydar to the test. My gaydar was flawless. Obviously. Dang it, I talked such a big game. I talked such a big game to all of you. I talked such a big game in my everyday life about my gaydar, and it's not so good. No need to fact check that. <laughs> and then coming into this video, the same thing happened. <laughs> I wanted to react to the button, but then somebody messaged me on Instagram and said that I needed to watch their videos of men kissing each other for the first time and like that just spoke to me. You understand, right? Tell me you understand. Do I want to watch dudes like kiss each other on the mouth? Yes. <laughs> I want to watch that more. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> we're going to head over to the Cut YouTube channel and see if we can find videos of queer kissing. This is like deja vu. This is a throwback for every single one of us that when we were younger would google girls kissing and then erase our history except now we're doing it together so it's fine and there's no shame <laughs> also hello for any of you who don't recognize me my name is elena joy i make videos mostly about queer sex dating relationships here on this channel but sometimes i react to cut videos and look up boys kissing <laughs> because I want to see boys kissing <laughs> but before we get into the reactions I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's video Oslo Oslo is Streamlabs newest product and it provides a central hub for youtubers influencers streamers video editors and collaborators to edit manage share and upload projects to the cloud Oslo is essentially a collaborative video editing product so you can do basic video editing adding media detaching audio, adding transitions, text, but then there are also a variety of animation tools you can use. For example, you can set up slow zooms like you see me doing here, and you can use these animations not only on video clips, but on the text as well. Like if you want text to fade in or fade out, just like you can make clips fade in or fade out. And there's also more advanced features like different video filters, you can change the track speed, you can change the background color, and no matter what kind of editing you're doing, you can invite others to collaborate with you on on the same project. So if you're multiple people working on the same edit, it takes away the need to import footage separately, export, edit files, import those, send them back and forth. Everything is centralized in one place and all you have to do is sign in. And then once you're finished your edit, you can either export the video file or you can upload it directly to YouTube. You can click the link in my description now to check out Oslo and all of its features for yourself. Men kissing? Oh my god, I love it. Straight men kiss other men for the first time. Oh my god, I hope it's cute and wholesome. What if it's homophobic? I'm only now considering that this could go poorly. <laughs> I am weirdly excited about this. <laughs> like, I feel like my excitement is, is like to the point that it's maybe a little bit inappropriate. All right. Let's do it for a while. Like, I think okay. like, like five seconds minimum and then like a bit of a bit of tongue as well. What about our hands? Where do you want to put our hands? Um. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just, this is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, This guy is so excited. Oh my God. He's like, okay, bro, we may only get to do this once. <laughs> so let's get it right. We are not doing any of that. Just like touching mouths business. We are using tongues. We're doing it for minimum five seconds. We are putting our hands on each other's bodies. And the other guy's like, I just signed up for a cut video. I, I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I am 
elevated. We had straight men kiss other straight men for the first time. Yeah, you did. What's your name and how old are you? I'm Dallas Quick and I'm 28 years old. Uh, my name is Rank Ramon, I'm 24. What are you I'm sorry, for? Dallas Quick is supposed to be a straight man? Is, something's not adding up. And we know I can't be wrong because we all saw in the last video how impeccable my gaydar is. <laughs> Especially with men. <sighs> I am the authority. If I just like say something out loud, that makes it true, right? What's your sexual orientation? Heterosexual. When did you know you were straight? I think I still ask myself every once in a while, but you know, I think it probably came to pretty firm decision on that as like a teenager. I love that they're asking them, when did you realize you were straight? I feel like that's a question that many straight people never feel the need to answer or never feel the need to ask themselves because straight is seen as the default. And perhaps if we were asking everybody, when did you realize your sexuality? It would save us queer folks some time. <laughs> like if I had asked myself, <laughs> those of you who have been here, you know. Because I, I asked myself the question, do you like women, Elena? Are women something that you're interested in? I asked myself that question and I poured over that question. I tested that question. I asked myself that same question in a multitude of different ways. And I came to my conclusion, yes, I like women. Yes, I'm interested in women. I never asked myself, are you interested in men? Are you attracted to men? Because I just thought that by default, I was. And then turns out I made a big oopsie. <laughs> in that department. And I and sometimes I wonder, sometimes I wonder if things would have looked differently had there been more questions available to me. So I love this. They're asking straight men, when did you realize you were straight? I think that's pretty cool and actually kind of important. I'm Aiden. I'm right. Nice to, nice nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Oh my God. Jesse. Oh my God, they're introducing themselves to each other. <laughs> oh my God, they're just nervous and smiling. It's so cute. Presented with the idea my body reacted very reflexively with a great deal of discomfort. I don't respect oh. that part of me. Which is what? <gasps> um, oh, that's giving me chills! Which means you know it's good! I think he's essentially saying that he's not homophobic. He doesn't believe in homophobia. He doesn't believe that men kissing men is wrong in any way. And yet, the idea of him, a man, kissing another man, made him feel really uncomfortable for reasons based in prejudice. Props to that guy. Guys kissing is very taboo, especially when compared to straight women kissing. It's important to kind of break that down in certain ways. I thought that this would be a cool opportunity to try and do that. Wow, they're calling out really important issues. Cut. Who would have thought? They've not only addressed that this idea of like a dude kissing another dude might make you uncomfortable, but the fact that that generally makes the public more uncomfortable than the idea of two straight women kissing. And why is that? Heteronormativity? Possibly. The patriarchy? Probably. You gotta step out the box. Yeah. So here I am, way out the box. Oh my god, he's so kiss? cute. I don't know. Maybe just answer some questions that have been in the back of my mind. What if I talked to that dude when I was 11 to 12 years old? I can't remember this guy's name, but he is so cute. This is the kind of thing that would confuse me like a few years ago because I would see men who I thought were attractive and who I felt a certain attraction to, like this guy. And I thought that that meant that I couldn't be gay. But what I didn't realize is the types of attraction that I'm feeling are aesthetic. I find this man pleasing to look at and so I'm like, getting joy from looking at him and more of a platonic like I like his vibe like I think we could be friends I think we could hang out and I wasn't able to differentiate those things from a sexual or romantic attraction are you ready did you brush your teeth today oh, shit. um I, <laughs> I chewed like three packs of gum <laughs> okay that's that's good enough he didn't brush his teeth are either of you in a relationship right now yes. Brian and Me Dallas well. so you two are willing to cheat on camera <laughs> I have acquired the permission of my partner. Yeah, yeah I, I got permission as well. Is there a physical compliment you can give each other right now? He's quite handsome. I like his outfit. Yeah, dude. 
talk about what you're comfortable with. Do you want to oh, do like? Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so sweet. They're complimenting each other. They're calling out the fact that this could be considered cheating just because it's guy on guy, just because it's girl on girl, doesn't make it any less valid. Is essentially the point. It's also just occurring to me that what if the actual kiss is like super cringy? I'm hoping not because so far this is warming my heart. Are you okay with me uh, touching your face or your, yeah. your head? You? Okay, yeah. I don't know, uh -huh. where, where do girls put their hands usually? Like? I think. Consent things, they're having consent conversations. I would say no tongue. Okay. I'm not really a big tongue. Even with girls, I'm not really into it. He says no tongue, setting good boundaries. What do they call that? In kink communities, what do they call that? When you have a conversation ahead of time around boundaries and the things that you want and the things that you don't want. Like negotiations or something, I can't exactly remember. There is such a lesson to be learned here for any experience that you're having with another person. Taking a minute to check in and just be like, hey, are you having a good time? Are you happy with the things that are happening? Do you want me to keep going? Is there anything you don't want me to do? Is there anything you do want me to do? Those conversations, there's anticipation growing, there's trust building. Cut, you're knocking this out of the park. Oh my God, I wanna see them kiss so bad. Do. <gasps> they're gonna kiss, oh my God, they're gonna kiss. Not the sexy music. I'm so ready for this one. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this fist pound after a kiss, that's <laughs> gonna be any more straight. Oh god, yeah. Not <laughs> the fist bump. They're like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, bro. We knocked that out of the park, bro. Just two dudes being dudes. Straight hetero vibes. No homo. This is so cute. A first kiss can be awkward with anybody. <sighs> and I think they're gonna do it again. I hope that my level of excitement here is not coming off as creepy. <laughs> and if it is, I apologize. I'm just, this is so wholesome. I feel like I was building it up in my head to be something scarier than it was in, in real life. Yeah? How was it? Bro, you taste good. I taste good? <laughs> yes. Thanks. You have good it teeth too, so good. I'm very, uh... I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I did feel a little bit of his, uh, a little, a little bit of the stubble. That's, that's not something I've ever felt before. And I was wondering how they were gonna react to the, to the facial hair. Are you comfortable doing one more kiss? Why not? I mean. Only live once, right? Yeah. Let's do it for a while. Like I think okay. like, like five seconds minimum. And then like a okay, bit of. Okay, so this is where the guy is trying to now like plan the length and the type of kiss. They've already had their one kiss, they've had their peck, and now he's like, hey, we only get one more shot at this. <laughs> Let's not waste it. Like, I want to be like, you know you can go out into the world and kiss dudes too, right? Like, this isn't your last shot to ever kiss a guy. You can kiss guys if you want to. You can be gay if you want to. Yeah, let's just, let's just, let I, this is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just go for it. All right, tell us when you're ready. Three, Look two, at one. <laughs> I can't handle this. They're like, oh, they're like in each other's arms. Like, can we do it? Can we go now? Can we kiss yet? Get now? Can we? Now? Are we ready? Is everyone good? <laughs> They're so excited. Come on, go. <gasps> he dipped him. Oh my god, there's shot streamers or whatever you want to call it into the air. Oh, they're going for it. Look at the hands on the face. And a hand on the neck. You gotta love a hand on the neck, a hand on the face. Hell yeah. That was nice. Hell yeah. Have yeah. you learned anything about yourself? I feel like I can start kissing the homies. Let oh. them know that they're truly loved and appreciated. Yeah. That's dope, dude. <laughs> oh, he's gonna start kissing his homies. <laughs> like, justice for male friends.
friendship affection. Justice for platonic affection in general. Kiss your homies if they want that. If they want you to kiss them, like maybe check first. But like kiss your homies. Did it feel competitive? Well, that's Ooh. a great question. Low key on the last one it did. Yeah. Like, yeah, who's a better kisser in this yeah. situation? Yeah. I wonder though if that competitiveness could be like low key erotic for some of these guys, for people in general. <clears throat> Just a thought. Just a thought. Great job, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Is there a women one? <laughs> Cut women kissing. No, they don't have the same straight women kissing. They do not. That's too bad. That's a real L for us. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> I feel warm and fuzzy in my heart. And as usual, I want more. That's where I'm gonna leave this video. Maybe next time I'll actually react to the button. I've been refraining from watching it because I wanna watch it together with all of you. But that's it, that's it for, for today's video. The question that I want to pose today to all of you is if you are a straight identifying person, have you ever kissed someone of the same gender? But I feel like most of you are not straight identifying. Just a hunch I have. <laughs> but if you are, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you're anybody who has kissed multiple genders, what would you say is the difference? Whatever your sexual orientation. But that's it for me today. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Again, be sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where the magic happens. Another huge thank you to Oslo for partnering with me on this video. Again, make sure that you use the link in my description to check out Oslo and all of its features for yourself. And as always, an extra huge thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. I have another gift in the works for all of you who are signed up on my Patreon that we've had a couple setbacks in launching, but it will be coming soon. So definitely stay tuned over there to check it out. And that's it from me today. I love you all very much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Like these men were talking about, as a gay woman, kissing a woman feels different to me than kissing a man. And I'm curious to see how each of you would put that into words.